<laughs> Yo, hi, and welcome. My name is Danilo, and I welcome you back to Let's Play Octopath Traveler. In the last episode, we completed Primrose's story. Yeah, and now we are down to the very last one, which is Tressa's. Yeah, we're gonna sell some good treasures and get. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot. Um, I tried to steal something from someone here yeah, and. <laughs> Uh, my reputation suffered. Oh, they actually say something. <laughs> Seems like the people don't like me much. <laughs> uh, and yeah, uh, I uh, try to buy this free again, but there's a little problem. <laughs> it's a little bit too expensive. How expensive? Well, just look at that. I need to spend 100,000. <laughs> I barely got that. Probably after I complete that story, I will have that money back. But yeah, <laughs> I messed up. I made an oopsie. And yeah, we all have to live with that now. Anyway, we are not here to steal stuff from people. We are here to continue the story with Tressa. Let's go. The very last one. <laughs> Recommended level 45. She's level what? 63? 62 something? Anyway, Tressa, chapter 4. You arrive in Grandport, which is a buzz with excitement over the auction. It is there you finally realize what your true treasure is. Oh. I like how this is like happy go lucky music. In the background, <laughs> which is an extreme contrast to Primrose's story. <laughs> uh, the story so far in Victor's Hollow, Tressa reunited with Captain Leon Bastrell. He spoke of a dear friend from his pirating days and told her of the Eldride that mean that man's most precious treasure. Tressa, Tressa ventured out and recovered it, but Leon refused the gift for the for he already found him his most precious treasure. His friend's old ship and a new life as a merchant. There's only room in one heart for one true treasure. So what was hers? Twister realized she she still had no answer. Uh, undeterred, I don't know. She made way for Grandpa, the Eldrite in hand, and so she arrived at the merchant's fair. I can't believe it. I'm finally here. Huh? I hope you're ready for me, Merchant's Fair. Mm -hmm. I really like the music. I never noticed that the music here is <laughs> so much to my tasting. <laughs> this is incredible. And I was in this town a few times already. There are merchants and treasures from all over the world here. That must be where they hold the auction. Hehe, <laughs> I can't wait to see what they have for sale. Yeah, I can, but I can't buy anything, so yeah. <laughs> Look, it's Mr. Uh, Windham. Who is probably gonna be a friend or the boss of this chapter. <laughs> Windham, like the incredible wealthy aristocrat? Yeah, probably. The bad guy, right? Uh. Wanted to say, Miss. Uh. Rumor has it he's got enough money to buy himself a small country. Supposedly, he visits, uh, in, he invests, he invests quite a sum into the fair too. Yeah, this guy already like. <laughs> and this guy, this guy has a voice that he just screams, "Bad guy." Like a total fuck, not not the F words. Uh, how do you uh, it's pronounced like that too? Fuck, right? <laughs> T H uh, T H something something. I don't know. Only the rest a bad guy. <laughs> Only the rest and most beautiful treasures have been gathered here. I'm certain you'll find something to your daughter's liking. Oh. I expect so. I spent what I must to see her happy. 
It's pronounced fuck, right? What? What? One of the highlights of the fair is a competition. Merchants show off their finest pieces to Mr. Windham. And he picks only the very best one to give to his daughter. The reward is one billion leaves, which I couldn't need right now. <laughs> one billion? Mm. They say he invests in affairs just so he can hold the competition. <sighs> I guess all that money, that's all that money touch you nugget eventually. I don't get it. He's probably looking for something. He's looking for something. And Tristan just happens to have that thing, and bad things happen. <laughs> this is what I foretell. At least his daughter's happy. Mm. Though it does make me wonder how he chooses a winner. Mm. Well, call me curious. Huh? Will the Elric do the trick? If I prove myself here, I know this journey wasn't for nothing. Yes. Guess there's only one way to find out. Uh -oh. I go sneak up peek at the competition. <laughs> Make sure they won't attend. <gasps> oh no! Uh -oh. <laughs> And that's the daughter. I mean, it's kind of obvious. <laughs> no, you can't. You just stumbled. <laughs> oh, dang it. はい、お水持ってきたよ。すみません。こんなに腰切に。いいのいいの。私トレサ、行商人として旅してるんだ。旅を私はノアと言います。よろしく。トレサさん。うん、堅苦しいな。トレサでいいよ。はい。トレサ。ねえ、大丈夫怪我とかなかったええ。もう少し歩けると思っていたのですが。私は昔から足が弱くて遠くに出たことがありません。え？小さい頃からずっと外の世界に興味がありました。きっと見たこともない素敵なものがあるんだろうなって。That でも、Oh, lady, there you are. Eh? Lady, um, no, 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 no. Jill? I'm sorry, I forgot you, Jill. Or Gil, Jill, Jill. Okay. Jill is a girl's name. And who is this young woman? Eh? Her name is Tresha. I really, why can I pronounce her name today? Why does it with the and the S today. Her name is Tressa. She lent me her aid. 
My word, Miss Tressa, you have my deepest gratitude. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jill, and I am in the service of the Wintham family. And she said, oh, The Wintham family? I'd love to repay you for your kindness deed. For your kind deed, but I'm afraid we must be on our way. Let us make for the auction, all my lady. Of course, Jill. Thank you again, Tressa. I'm just glad you're all right. See you around, Noah. <laughs> Noah is the daughter of Mr. Windham, which means she's the whole competition is who she is the one who this whole competition is for. And hey. Who are you? Do I know you? Make for the market square. No traveling banter so far. All right. By the way, this is a group Ulbrick, Ferion, Primrose. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot. Doesn't like the reputation go back to normal in each chapter? Oh. I was kind of betting that this would happen, but it seems like we don't have to uh, do some path action in this. So maybe they don't reset to normal. That's what I've been thinking, but I don't know. Uh, taking it all in. You bet I am. It's a thief's dream. All these lavish wares just sitting here for the taking. <laughs> and then I just messed up and couldn't do anything. <laughs> you you put me in a situation for you on. I know it's like my eyes can't stop moving from one thing to the next. Precious coral, giant pearls, and sapphires on a on that metal filigree showing the touch of a master's head. And those ceramics, it's not every day you see such pristine craftsmanship. You mean those cups and bowls? How valuable can they be? Well, they're made of the fi uh, finest white porcelain, very rare, very costly. Hey, you know your stuff. As to you, when it comes to jewelry, at least, a thief, a thief who can't tell gold from copper won't last long in profession. When you put it that way, I guess our trades aren't so different after all. Indeed, see, indeed, seems we have more in common than we thought. Yeah, they are best team ever. But Ferion, you just have to walk past all those people and be like, mm, I want to steal it, but I can't. Because I messed up. <laughs> All right. Um. Eh? Treasure, treasure everywhere. And I can't buy anything. Oh, oh that's how Sanidi tableware. And there are Rini towels, crimson gems, gold coins from Belmont. You really can find anything at the fair. I better write this all down before I forget. Hi. Oh, yeah. you? Excuse me, miss. Eh? Oh, hello. Uh, can I help you? Just... I feel like I've seen that notebook somewhere before. Would you mind showing it to me? Don't give it to her. Just a little more, if you don't mind. Uh, hi. Sure. By the way, I didn't get your name. <laughs> Finally, my search is over. Uh -huh. Your search. Sir. Yes. Please accept this in thanks. Uh. <gasps> hey, that's mine. Not anymore, little girl. A word of advice before I go. Forget you ever saw this book. It's for your own good. Oh, you... Wait! My notebook. I have to get it back. Alright. 
Oh, dang it. Too many people. Uh, where did she go? What's going on? What are all those people doing there? Your attention, ladies and gentlemen. You won't miss this. You want to want you won't want to miss what's coming up next. Oh, it's this guy. I know that voice. Wasn't he called like Aslan or something? Ali. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's a first class item for the first class lady like yourself. Well, it does sound quite spectacular. It is Ali. Here is folks, the magnificent fortuitous carpet of house kafka for those of you you don't know let me tell you the tale of this peculiar piece yo his head looks like a biker helmet i don't know the, Ka the kafkas are famous aristocrats from the north several decades ago a craftsman presented the family with a very special carpet for the moment it adorned the halls, their lives were forever changed. Business boomed and profit soared, and eventually they were blessed with six beautiful children. It seemed as though the more memories the family made together, the more their happiness grew. Their luck both at work and home was greater than ever before. And this is the very carpet that welcomed good fortune into their lives. Oh. <laughs> Who knows? With this in your home, your luck could change for the better, just like the Kafkas. Sa I decided to bidding out a mere ten thousand leaves. I'll give you fifteen. Huh, I paid twenty thousand. Yes. So thank you, thank you. The merchant sure is away with his words. He could make a handful of sand look like gold. Tell me about it. He even made me want that carpet. <laughs> Another prosperous day. Fancy meeting you here. Glad to see you haven't changed a bit, Ali. And you are? Cressa, remember we met in Query Quest. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, Green Pea. How's business? Something the matter? You're not you're not still mad I stole all your customers, are you? No, it's not that. <laughs> Your notebook was stolen? Uh-huh. What kind of person would steal someone else's notebook? It's not funny. It was important to me. But that woman said it was in my own interest to forget about it. Hmm. The plot thickens. Yes. Well, I suppose I've moved enough merch for one day. I'm going to help you look for your notebook. I have a debt to repay after all. Thanks. I guess you're not such a bad guy after all. You call that praise? You've got a long way to go, Green Pea. That's her. Where? Over there, follow me. This is not how I figured this chapter would turn out. I thought we were just going in here and the whole chapter would be about the auction something. Just like with Obrick and the arena. That's definitely her. 
I'd recognize her anywhere. Uh. What a strange woman. What would she want with your diary? <laughs> Quite. Bokuro. Esmeralda. Yeah. I retrieved the notebook. Is that the guy who wrote it? Excellent work. Now let us leave this town at once. So, yeah. My thoughts exactly. Is this book connected to this one gate? Like, why, why? she would have read further, would she stumble across? Like, by the way, I found this gate. It's the gate to hell or something. Which is kind of connected to all the other chapters. <laughs> I don't know. I have a bad feeling about those two. That's what I'm assuming. Sir? Well, uh, we'll leave the way we came. Okay. What are you going to do, Green Pea? So I can I, huh? What else? Get my notebook back. <laughs> are you coming or not? <laughs> Lead the way. And what about the auction? Do we have time for all of that? I mean, yeah, it's important, but oh, uh, there's the option. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us today. The showcase, sponsored by the Gracious House Winter, will begin shortly. Only one piece is allowed per entrant. Uh, do we give like the Eldred to this Ali guy and he sells it for us or something? The lucky winner of the show will be awarded one billion leaves. Virgins, please prepare your entries. So yeah. That's right, the showcase. No. Are you entering, Green Pea? Yeah. You got that right, and here's my winning entry. Ta da! Huh? All right. How did you get your hands on something that rare? Let's talk business, hey? Keep dreaming, Ali. It was worth a shot. But you know, you might actually win with this. Maybe you're not a, such a green pea after all. Yeah, except... Hmm, something about it feels different. Different? How? I don't know, maybe it's just my imagination. Anyway, first things first, we need to find that woman. Right. Oh yeah. <laughs> Every time. Uh. There they are. Yes. All right, leave it to me. Huh? What are you going to do? Ah. I lower my way so you can follow that woman. Masako. I can't let you do that. It's too dangerous. Wait, he got the yeah, notebook yeah. now. <laughs> Why would we? Hey, did you forget? I'm Ali, the one-man army. I see that that prepared one way or another, Tressa. <laughs> Ali. Smooth exit, Ali. Now to get down to business. To the feet, I mean. Yeah. Pardon me, sir, madam. Hmm? What is it, kid? Why does she remind me to like... What's <laughs> her name again? I didn't watch so much of it. From Ruby. Uh, Cinder. Yeah. She kind of... Just change the colors a little bit. Black hair, red dress, and there we go. Uh, I know I don't like, I don't look like much, but I'm a renowned merchant in these parts. I was, I was hoping I could have a moment of your time. <laughs> Out of the way, we're busy. Jitsua. Won't take long, I promise. I'm actually quite interested in that pocket watch of yours, sir. 
Oh, really? Did you forget? We're in a hurry. That's Sikuat's watch, if I'm not mistaken. The king of the east. He was in price that very time. The king of the east. He was in price that very time piece above all others. His famous words were, "Nothing is more precious than time. Time kept and time spent." Good going, Ali. I well, worst merchant, I see. However, this is hardly my most remarkable watch. <laughs> you know, my time is precious too. <laughs> no. My apologies, madam. Why don't we talk over there, sir? I have something that might be of great interest to you. Ooh. Do tell. Who knew watches could be so time consuming? I know, right? Ironic. <laughs> Thank you, Ali. Yes. It's my turn now. Right, don't get yourself killed, Ali. What? Oh, over there. <laughs> I was wondering, where are we? uh he is so dead i think right he's he's so dead the next time i come and visit him right <laughs> grandpa sewers all right grandpa not gold show i thought this place was called gold show travel venter do you think he'll be all right yes. are you worried for the lad of course he's putting himself into danger all for my sake he swore he would pay his debt I know, but and I believe him a man of his word. His pride wouldn't stand for owing me anything, that's for sure. I just hope he doesn't get himself hurt. As do I. But whether you fret or not, he will not do what he was set he will do what he has set his mind to. I guess you're right, and he is tougher than he looks. Alright, first things evasive maneuver, evil one I don't need that. Why did I equip that? I think I was like walking around somewhere. Uh, patience, I think, right? Yeah, I think patience. All right, uh, Presser, Cleric, Obrick, Apothecary, Ferion, Hunter, Primrose, Scholar, and yeah, let's see. Let's see what the dungeon for this part has to offer. I'm assuming we're gonna fight this woman at the end. I mean, yeah, of course we do. Just pulling out a bow, <laughs> shoot some fire at us. It would be kind of ironic. And yeah, uh, I see multiple parts on the map already. Okay, there's a. I got fear with me, so I don't have to go back. Oh, uh, did I? I think I didn't. Did I go into the dungeon again? The last one we got the treasure chest. I don't think so. I think I noted them somewhere. Oh, yeah, in the theater, I found an unseen, unseen saber and an ethereal dancer garb. The dancer garb I already got, and the unseen saber I think wasn't that special. But yeah, I got those two things from the purple chest. Uh, X. No, you need one more ability, I think. I think I also change some abilities. Oh, you're not dead, really. 
Lizard or I think I changed some equipment off screen. Not sure. Fifty. Uh, let me just look. Mm, I think I gave him the physical belt, which we got from the last boss. I think. Yeah, that's broken. <laughs> got that. Unseen saber is over here. I already got one of those. I just realized. Wait. Should I give him that? Hmm. He would never get hit after that. Does he need that much attack? Yeah. Let's give him that. Why not? Gotta lose some attack, but I can live with that. Alright, I don't want him to be like the person that no one can touch. <laughs> He's too fast, man. Too fast. I can't hit him. Purple chest, joint, legion dagger. Yeah, that one was overpowered at some point back then, but right now, nope. Who are you guys? Zidian Execu executive. Oh, he's weak against darkness, and he dodged. Uh, oh, both. And, uh, no. Someone needs to donate DP so that she can get like. Yeah, we forgot bounty out like turn two so that we can get a lot of money. And that I can't believe we are done with chapter four after this. After the next part, it's been so long. We're still level 50, like. I still don't think it's crazy that most likely there are 50 more levels to go. Not usually 100 is the max or 99. So we are only at all my characters are only half of strength that they can possibly be. Then again, I don't know what's they are even optional i hope they are optional bosses but oh there's a treasure yeah, but i think i have to go back right i don't know what level the strongest boss in this game could be so yeah uh, i should really give some of those people better shields it's always the evasion that kind of scares me. Why do you have a shield that lowers your evasion? You, out of all people, should have something better. But yeah. Wait. He already he he has so much defense. Um, how about we give you the force shield? Yeah, and you get the Gustav shield to get even more evasion. Wait, didn't he add like six hundred something? Oh, okay. So I guess it doesn't stack. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, okay, that. I mean, 
I already stumbled across some dungeons that have more level recommendations than the story, like level 50 or so. Wait, what does my list say? I noted all the dungeons down. The highest level dungeon is 58 Force of Purgation. All the things that I noted down, and yeah. So we have to be at least that level. And you know if there are some things coming up. That are even higher levels. If they are not, then that would be kind of a waste. Then why should I level up beyond that? You know what I mean? Uh, one of the comments got me confused. Oh. <laughs> I defied the die at one point. I think it was after after Ferion's part where I rolled the dice and Scotch or there. Where I rolled the dice and why do you have the rune glaive? <laughs> what? Oh, it's dress up. <laughs> I was wondering what. Wait, you need that one. Yeah, you need that one. Like one of the comments said, I have to fight to die. And I'm like, how can I do fight? How can I defy dying? I don't get it. <laughs> then I remembered that you can call a dice die as well, and then I felt stupid. Uh, you like and subscribe yet? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's some of those moments. I don't know. Oh, yes. Come on! No, oh, that's not gonna break them. That's gonna break them. Awesome. Dodged. Think that hit me? No. Oh, they're not gonna be breaking. They're not gonna get broken yeah. by anything. Ah. Oh. Oh, why didn't you dodge? Oh, good job. Um, X. Oh yeah. Oh, everyone is broken. Everyone is broken, and he got. I think that's like the first time he ever activated that, right? <laughs> Patience. I don't know. Usually, see Tressa and Hanit do that. I can do that too. Watch me. Eh. Oh. <laughs> Shadows are going crazy again. Look that. Look at that on the right. Yeah, I, think my, I think my analog's broken. I always try to go left and right with my analog and it doesn't work half of the time. Why is that? Oh. Rope of the Dragon Princess. That sounds new. Rope of Flame. Oh, that's so much. That's a lot of critical. How about you get <laughs> Rob of the Dragon Princess? Yeah. Evasion. Hey, wait a minute. That one gets evasion too. So why? Let me just test one thing. You get the force shield, and you get you have 636. Ah, okay, it does stack. All right. Uh, 
uh, up there. Wait, I came from there, right? I came from up there, yeah. Mm. Yeah, straightforward dungeon. I like it. Not like a million ways to go. Not much time wasted. Why get like lost half the time? Uh. Mm -hmm. Uh, light magic or wait. Oh, those guys are not fast. I should have probably used arrow storm, whatever. But then again, yeah. What? Oh, he's poisoned. <laughs> How did that happen? Someone's weapon, I guess. Fearion. Yeah, Fearion. He's the only one who attacked physically. Oh, really? There we go. I think you can just dodge my attacks. What's your name? Virion? Jeez. That was strong. Okay. Hmm, could this be the boss? I think that's actually the boss. All right, <laughs> let's go and heal ourselves up for the next part. Let's see if we can learn some thingies. Nah. And uh, what did I have with her? <laughs> uh, snatch. Snatch would be good. I actually need money right now, so yeah. <laughs> That, does that count for like for uh, Biffigan's bounty? Nah. Let's do that. Additional money after battle. I get. I think we get like fifty thousand or something after each boss. Around now, so maybe. At least, at least then we can guarantee to get something out of a skill. All right, let's see up our skills, and I would say let's save here because I'm just gonna assume the boss is coming up now, and yeah, the next one we're gonna go and beat up Esmeralda, I think. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this part. Please consider leaving a like, a comment, or subscribe. That would be really nice of you. And I'll see you in the next part. Bye bye.